Good day, it's Mitch here from Bushlaw Point Centurion. Um, just want to give you guys a quick uh, preview of a customer's unit that we've built for him. Um, it's quite a big system upgrade on the power side. Uh, lithium batteries, chargers, inverters, um, solar, quite a bunch of things. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of a rundown on it. And then we'll post some specs later on during the video. Or at the bottom end of the description of the video, we'll post some specs for you guys. Um, so to start off, I'm going to jump in, show you guys all the elements under the bed that we've installed. So firstly, we've got a 12 volt, 3000 multi plus charger inverter. Uh, we've set the charger to run at 70 amps on shore supply, and the inverter is running at 3000 watt, um, and then maintains basically the whole unit, all the power that the customer would need. Uh, we've got two 218 amp uh, Blue Nova batteries. Uh, lithium, so they can run enough power for the gentleman here. We've got fuses and the smart shunt installed under the bed. Uh, all connectivity towards the Victron app, the Connect app, so it's all Bluetooth. We've got the 12 volt, 30 amp Orion TR Smart uh, DC to DC charger that runs the vehicle's alternator charging. We've also got a additional solar input for the gentleman here, 130 amp uh, MPPT controller from Victron, also Bluetooth. Up in the cupboard here, we've got a 150 amp uh, MPPT controller that runs the four 160 watt solar panels on the roof, um, all removable. Just above that, you've got the Serbo GX. Okay, so that runs the whole digital display system of this unit. Okay, so we've done a bit of a custom DV board for the gentleman here. So we've got the, the Serbo GX display that gives him all the detail that he would need. All nice and digital uh, uh, visual there. You've also got different screens you can swap through to see what everything is happening on the system. Uh, bit of a custom DB board, as we said, so we've added additional USBs up there as well. Some other upgrades that we've done for him as well. Insulation in the roof. So we've removed the roof. Put insulation in the roof helps co with cooling. Um, as it's an aluminium roof, you've got the solar on top, but this helps as additional. And then extra USBs, a, full, a few other small things, but we'll post the specs for you guys just now. So just a quick recap on the solar panels. Um, we've got 460 watt removable panels. So they all slide out this way, uh, this way towards me. Um, we've got a full 10 meter extension with a wide piece in each, pa each extension. So we've got two options to extend the solar panel or to, to put it external from there. And then also we've got additional inputs on the side here. So we'll get to those now. Thank you. Okay, so just a recap on the solar. Um, so we've got external solar input for the removable panels on the roof. So we've got 460 watt panels on the roof. Uh, we've got a 10 meter extension with a, a wire piece in the line that gives you the option to basically plug in. Um, so you can run two panels off on the floor, two panels on the roof, and then he's got external input. So we're running the roof solar still off the 150 amp MPPT and the external solar input will be run off the 130 amp MPPT controller. Um, yeah, so that's it.